Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hunters of all ages, hello and welcome to this week's Hunting Lodge. My name is Jaxie Beard. If we've met before, I don't know what to say. Where you been? Welcome, welcome. We're going to have a little fun this week. I'm going to have a little chit chat. Everything going okay? Sound is good. I'm not glowy beard for a change. Man, a lot has happened here lately in the Hunter Call of the Wild and in the Angler. There's so much going on. We've been super busy. Bear with me if I'm a little relaxed today. Just enjoying the successful release. We're going to talk about that. Enjoy the new weapon pack. Uh, and uh, looking forward to the craziness to come. Because there's lots of craziness right now. Before we go any further, just with this look, I want to see how many OGs and how many know our game. What map am I on right now? Hit me with it while I catch up on chat. What map? You should know if you take a look. I'll be interested to see who gets it. What's up, everybody? Good to see you. Welcome, my friends. Welcome. What up, Big Rig? Caitlin, hello. Nature Beast in the house. How are you? Zara, what's up, my man? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, no fooling you guys. For those of you who don't know, it's it's pretty obvious when you look at the trees. Otherwise, maybe a little misleading. I am, in fact, here on Parquet Fernando. It's an interesting run for me because this save, this was one of my first three saves I ever had in the game. And we went back to this one inadvertently when I tried to go to a different one. I had a lot of restarts. I love doing restarts in this game. I love the progression. But it's left me with so many saves. And I sometimes get confused on where is what and what's when. Uh, so you can see I haven't done a lot here on Parquet on this save. So I'm kind of interested on it. Obviously, the last time we were here, we had some some fun with the water beefaloes. We're going to do that today. But I haven't been on here since the home range move. Um, you know, if you're looking for Buffalo and, and, and this is the thing, if you're a new player, lots of information to be garnered about the game. You can get a lot of it in our discord. There's lots of guides and stuff out there. And of course here in the streams, if you have any questions, definitely hit me up, but the, the Buffalo, they're kind of fun. These two bottom lakes all the way up along the side. Uh, you'll get them here. You'll get them up, uh, this lake, I believe, uh, used to get them more up here, but there's still, I think one or two zones to be found, but really high impact area down the side. Um, these two lakes. So this lake's interesting to me because this is where I got my very first Buffalo water Buffalo diamond was right on this side. They're not over there anymore since the home range move. Uh, in fact, while I was setting up on stream, <laughs> they started walking up on me and one of them got a little frisky. They've since come back in, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to knock anything here. Without spooking them all, I can maybe just take this girl right there. Who knows? But we're going to have some fun with the 300. What are we all thinking, my friends, with the high caliber weapon pack and the pistol pack in update? Pretty cool, right? I've seen a lot of really good feedback on it, but there's... So much value in getting into these streams and hearing it directly firsthand from you guys. I'd love to hear what you think. Thanks. What's what's your thinking? And uh, yeah, we'll we'll talk about some stuff as we carry on through. Parky needs came in Northern Swamps. I mean, you know, you add more, you take away. So six of one, half a dozen of the other, right? You know. <laughs> what up, Crow? Good to see you, brother. Welcome, my man. Tents on the distant lakes. The other way. Yeah, they they ate my tents. I I lost my tent down here. There was one there, and I lost this one. I bounced there first, lost it. Bounced here, lost the bulvers, the beavers, the bulvers. Yeah, they're bulls. They're in full swing. Just a little info on that, okay? Because I do see. I mean, it's still a thing. Beavers are eating our tents, man. They're hungry little buggers, and apparently our tents are made of wood. There's a reason for this, and a few things you can do to help yourself in your tent placement and not getting it removed. Sometimes it's unavoidable, and I'll explain that. So right off the hop, obviously, high traffic areas. <laughs> if things are moving through uh, and you have a tent on the ground, it most likely it's going to get removed. Uh, they, if they path through there when you're not around, the game goes, oh, it's an obstacle in the way. We got to get rid of this, and off it goes. These guys can smell me over here. I got a whole bunch of it. When did they start stacking on this side, man? Things could get real messy real fast here. The other thing to consider is if we just had an update, if we have to, we're always trying to make improvements on the game, and a lot of times there's things that need to be adjusted, like hitboxes on trees. You sneaky little buggers. Hitboxes on trees, um, just it, anything on the ground. There's lots of reasons. If something in that area has been changed, that also can result in the tent being sent back to your inventory. But the good news is they always go back to the inventory, uh, but it's still a pain. We understand that. It's Nothing's perfect, but, you know, we try. 
Let me get Beavers in the game. I'm putting down tents all over the rest zone. See how they like it. And then just camp those tents. I'd be like a bait site. <laughs> Are you guys going to put wood pigeons on the Hunter Classic? I don't know about Classic. I, I don't have anything to do with Classic these days. I miss our Classic crew. Some great folks over there. Uh, as far as Call of the Wild goes, anything is possible. A lot of it comes down to feedback. But I, I really urge caution. Okay, you guys, you're powerful. Okay, I'm powerful. Uh, but I mean that. You you truly are. You know, our devs, they spend a lot of time taking in feedback and considerations. Um, and, you know, suggestions go a very long way with them. So when you guys start asking for backfills, there's a good possibility of it happening. And I really like to stress to folks because I don't think it's often considered. If you backfill animals, our population set, that means we remove some to put some in. Uh, and we've been successful with what we've done thus far. I just, I, I really like our reserves the way they are. Uh, but, you know, there's merit, obviously, to a discussion on, on what should be what and where and so on and so forth. And if you want to get part of that convo, make sure to get into the Discord. Lots of threads going on. Uh, and, and, you know, before I move on, I do want to say, guys, enough thread wars. One suggestion will not hurt another. <laughs> It's it's a very select small group. I shouldn't even mention it, but I am going to say it. Uh, don't spam people with your suggestions. Don't spam channels with your suggestions, or we will lock the thread to stop the issues. We don't want to bother members. Any members that want to be involved will go into those forums, and they will check out your posts, and they will upvote them accordingly. You can't be DMing people, telling them not to vote one and to vote another. Come on. Come on. We're all adult gamers here. Pew, pew. If you pick it up what I'm putting down. Just a friendly what's what. You know, I'd hate to have to lock some of the most popular threads. Yeah, you know who I'm looking at. <laughs> Don't DM your suggestions, weirdos. Well said. I'm almost scared to shoot anything here, but uh, let's just have a little fun. Let's make a little money. I'm not going for trophies today. Um, I, but, you know, we'll maybe go for it. If we got a decent shot on something. This ain't bad. Look how close that is. You're calm, cool, and collected. I don't know how long that's going to happen for. Here we go. This 300 is insane. I got to tell you, if you're rocking the 300 and you bring the... Oh, you bugger. And you happen to bring with you the 308, you can tell them apart simply um, by how you're holding it. You can see there's there's like... You can see the cord wrap here. It's, it's, it's there. It's a thing. But yeah, it gets a little something. Uh, quarter angle. Can we get the lung? Let's just stand up and give it a crack here. Oh, what are you? No, we're not shooting you, but we are. You put your head down. There we go. One shot. Come on. Let's see it. Do work, baby. Do work. I just can't get over how powerful these things are, man. This 300. You know, I'm very careful on using terms like game changer and stuff. But man, if you've been looking for that one big gun to rule them all, I think we finally got it. Oh, get me wrong, I'd love to see a 416 Rigby or a 375 H&H. &H. But hey, all good things come to those with patience and those that request things. Uh, something people actually want and naturally be up. Exactly, totally. You do, Chrisley? You love the new 300? What do you guys think? What do you What do you think? By the way, the new 300 is the best gun that has been added to the game. Dems did an amazing job. Love to hear it, man. I'd <laughs> love to hear it. Now, Connor, it ain't annoying. It doesn't bother me at all. I've been loving using them. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. Love the new 10 gauge. Kill three diamond turkeys with it. New 300's a powerhouse. Nice, nice. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's Liam, and for sure. And it'd be nice to maybe see some of those come to the game in the future. I don't know if it's possible, but there's a button to unskin your weapons. So I've, I've never been asked that. That's a good question. Let me uh, let me find out. I've I've never even tried, to be honest. Because you know I spend money in game. They ain't getting it back. <laughs> it's three hundred. Go brr. What up, cryptic? My oh, man, love the three hundred AR. How you doing, Dilly? Awesome. I'd love to hear it. I figured you would. I figured you would, brother. There it is. The thing just crushes, man. Like, it's great. I just I'm loving this thing. Um, uh, makes me want to go out and do work, baby. 44 hardcast all day, every day. Nice, Billy. Nice. Are there any Trophy Lodge updates planned? There's always talks about it. I, the Trophy Lodge is a tough one because, you know, we've we've done little things in the past 
uh, and it's it's a risk. We acknowledge that arguably one of the most important things in this game, especially to our players, is a player's trophy, right? We have these areas where we can collectively group these trophies together and uh, throw it up and, and show our friends in multiplayer and get the good old bragging rights. And we've had things happen in the past that were less than desirable and it caused some issues. Now we're happy to say that those issues have all been all but been resolved as far as we know, everything's running really well now with them. Uh, so there is a real risk there. Not to say something's not gonna happen with Trophy Lodges. We, we absolutely would, would love to be able to do something more. Uh, it's, uh, it's all a matter of fitting things together. We're going through a very interesting time here at Expansive Worlds, as you may have seen. We've been trying some different things and nothing's set in stone. Uh, if you wonder what I'm talking about, we went with the dog. Last release was in December, well, not last release, but the release before that, which, which was in December. Uh, and we tried doing that because there was a, it, was, it was the most requested, I was gonna say feature, but the most requested thing to come to the game um, by our huge player base, which blows my mind sometimes when I look at it. So we went with that, but it, you know, equally it's as much work as doing a map. But we realized without the map, well, you know, how are people feeling? What do we think? So we've been taking all of your feedback ever since. And let me tell you, it's it's a mixed bag. Some people are very, very happy that we decided to take it a little easier uh, and, well, not take it easier. Put a little more time into the quality of the map, which our next one coming up, I think, is going to reflect that. I think you guys I can't wait till we get close enough we can start talking about that stuff and really get your feedback. Uh, but then there's also, you know, the thought of like, how does that affect us moving forward? We don't know yet. We don't know yet. We're, we're working things out and we're, we're trying to grow with our game. We're trying to in, in better how we do things uh, because like, let's face it, it, there's an art to making video games, uh, but you know, we have our own custom engine. We have our own uh, mountains to climb, so to speak. So where are you guys going to go? I'm very interested in what they're doing here. So we pushed them around, but they've been loving it right here. Uh, they've, this, this is like their new zone at this lake, which kind of blows my mind. It's interesting. I would love to see, because everyone's map's a little different, uh, but in a lot of cases, we see similar similar actions. So I'd love to see what's happened to people's maps. Park A, Park A, when it came out, was a groundbreaking map. For those of you that weren't here, for it it was the first time we saw any form of of trophy lodge in the game if you've never played park a it's very unique in its storyline that it no spoilers but it takes you through the story and has you collect a diamond of each species as you further flesh out the lodge which is on your map um which is pretty damn it's pretty dang cool it's it, it was very unique uh and it led to our our first iteration of a trophy lodge um, the storyline was really good. The hunting is quite unique compared to a lot of other maps. I find that, like, if you're a diehard uh, and, and, and an old player, this is still some people's favorites. And I think that with all the new map that comes out and all the love we spread around all those, that sometimes we lose touch with, dare I say, our digital hunting roots. I urge you to go and try some of these older maps. And if you don't own them, just go into multiplayer with one of your friends Get them to toss the map up. If they own it and you don't, you get on it for free. It's pretty cool. Pretty neat, man. Are we getting another DLC before the next map? Seth Beard. Hey, you know what? I'll get I'll give you guys that. I'll give you guys that. No. Our next release will be our new map. <laughs> I hope I don't get in trouble. I got it all kinds last week on the Angler stream. That's all I can say. I can't say no more. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Just gonna do a little dance here now, distract from stuff and things. Well, uh, let's jump areas. Let's jump areas. I wanted to see what was happening here, and uh, I can see what's going on. And they're moving off. They're moving off and up, up and out, and uh, they may come back. But let's go take a look here. We're still within their drink time. We're almost out of it. We're almost out of it. Is it Jaxi Palm? Nothing confirmed. Yo, what up, Mike? Are we going to be able to have bull elephants and hippos? Oh, wow. I mean, we would love that. We would. Um, you know, there was a time where we, we hit the hard no 
on on stuff like that and said we can't do it but but you know we've since really expanded our abilities to um sort of you know create through storytelling this is in fact a game so it could happen it could happen yes that's something i would say it's definitely something as i believe arshak even touched on it it's it's discussed at length uh but for something as important to that as that if we were to do something like you know um well really the big five or an african 2.0 we'd have to really spend the time to make it right and to make sure that it is a banger it's a banger that would be that would be our our, our focus if, if we were to do something like that what's going on Lacey? how you doing <laughs> uh <okay>. man <laughs> so this map really getting worked on 100 percent. yeah it's uh so i can tell you um i've i've really enjoyed my time on it uh, but I don't want to spend any time. I don't ever want this to be a tease. We're, we're, we're not announcing anything yet. We're not, we don't have any details we can give you. Um, yeah, our, you know, we're all excited for it. hundred percent. But uh, let's, uh, you know, not make the time drag. My job is hard enough, okay? I don't need time dragging, and I am really excited for this one. Parking and Retro are both awesome maps that more people should try. Well said. Well said, Gwen. I, I agree. They absolutely are. Rancho is a very underrated map. You know, one good thing about uh, Parquet here, if you're into the Red Deer grinds, this is actually a pretty good map for Red Deer. Once you get them sort of uh, worked out, they don't have a ton of locations. Their home range is actually smaller than they are on other maps with them. So it creates an almost, um, well, it's a smaller environment you have to work through. Whether you're a hardcore grinder or, or just a casual player wanting to work through it, Parquet has a lot to offer. And if you're into stories, it's arguably one of the best story maps in game. I still, I, I put my beard on it. Verhunga, best story hands down in my opinion. If you have never done the story on Verhunga, and I'm not a story guy when it comes to games, I'm typically the guy, I'm kind of guilty for this. Uh, there's not many games that I haven't done this. I hit the skip, I hit the skip, I, I, I skip the dialogue, I want the meat. <laughs> I want the meat and the potatoes of the game. Uh, it's just me. I'm terrible that way, right? I'm terrible that way. You know, I'm not an RP guy or any of that. I just, I like what's in front of me. But I have done the storyline on Verhunga one and a half times. I've actually... I have a save with it half progress because I, I had thoughts to do something on my own channel with it because it's that good. Okay, go say hi to grandpa and let me know what you think. Some of the links on Perky at, at Nightmares to Hunt. Oh, are Nightmares to Hunt. Uh, they're, well, I mean, hey, I guess to each their own. I am very much a guy that likes to hunt. I don't like walking up to a lake and having everything standing there. That's boring to me. I don't, I, I just can't, I just can't do it. I tip my hat to our grinders. I can't do that. I mean, I have done, and, and I used to do it a whole lot more, but uh, it's just not my bag. It it, it just doesn't do it for me. Um, I, I don't, you know, even this, like it's cool to see, and it's good when I'm with you guys, it's an easy hunt. But when I play to enjoy myself, I want a hard hunt. I want an immersive hunt. I want to get into the woods I want to get away from the lakes. Uh, one of the best for that is TR Aurora. I, uh, I'll tell you, I had one of the best hunts ever in this game with my boy TK, and it was just amazing. Um, oh my god! Yes! 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 I'm sorry. I, I just, I love it when the pathing goes awry. <laughs> oh, man! No! Don't you dare. I want to shoot that one just because. No, don't you fall in there. Don't you do it! Totally gonna do it. <laughs> that was great. Oh, that was great. Oh, man. The challenges of pathing in this game, I saw a lot of it when uh, our QA was working pretty hard, actually, on some of the fixes. You'll notice the rubber banding by the lakes a whole lot better than it was. A whole lot better. Uh, it, it still needs improvements, but, oh, man, I saw a lot of it, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Uh, 
You're able to kill the cape buffalo with 300 is kind of immersion breaking. Oh, really? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That was pretty immersive for me, I say. <laughs> but of course, I live in British Columbia, so the new maps generally release at the same time each year ish. It's a development cycle that, that we're in. Uh, whoo. What did I say? I'm just kind of hanging out, seeing what's walking out here because I didn't see him initially. Interesting. Interesting. I love nice big old mythical walking out. Yeah, I know you guys can smell me over there. You shouldn't spook those and take them with you, though. So I'm okay with that. I'm going to move a little closer, see what's going on there. Love when the white tail do that walking over bridges. Yeah. And 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 that's you know, those are improvements we, we make all the all the time. And with every update, there's little tweaks, there's little improvements and stuff, and it's it's part of our uh, our desire as we go and as everything gets better. There's been some goofy stuff in the past. There has been. There has been. Looks like an orange. Pretty uncommon, I think, right? Pretty uncommon. Not a not a rare though. Wanna play this so much? Give her wacky duck. Welcome, my friend. Welcome to Call the Wild. I haven't played a long time. Tips for hunting bears. Yes, yeah, so one of the big changes... Good lord! For the love of Pete, man! What are we going to do that for? Sitting here, minding my own business. <laughs> I don't want to spook these guys over here. I want to see what they do. You're done, right? <laughs> That's the way to give the beard a jump in the morning. I think my hair's in here standing on end now, all frizzed out. Holy. Your hackles up? My hackles are up. <laughs> You're just way too happy for a near death encounter. I don't think we're going to get it to walk back around on us here. Maybe actually, what's our distance on that lake? Can I move to the other side? Let's go run around and take a look here. Let's go see. Awesome. Kevin, how you doing, man? Welcome. Uh, anyway, so yes, one of the changes that came uh, with the, uh, the pistol pack and update was the bear's new drink time. So you can find them in the mornings now, which is pretty dang cool. Uh, so, well, the reason I'm bringing this up, there was a question about the bears in there, and I wanted to say this. And yes, and I, I've, I've said this many times, but I still see there is some confusion. As we tried something different, we didn't want to reset everyone's progress because we're always met with a lot of negative comments on it. So we thought, okay, we'll give them what they want. Let's try this a different way. We didn't reset it, but it does mean that we now need to shoot the bears out of these old drink times at night. As a result, we've seen a lot of black bear great ones, and it, it's nice to see on one hand, because let's face it, they're freaking gorgeous. Uh, but yeah, people are kind of going ham on them right now. Uh, I love your feedback on that, because, man, there's two sides of the cap. Some people love it. Thank you so much. Some people hate it. Pain in the butt. Don't want to go deal with it. Uh, you know, and then there's those that we don't get to hear from, so I'd like to ask it while we're live. I would love your direct feedback you guys because again we tried something different okay now i do ask for understanding if you're one of those that don't care for it please be aware it's very hard to keep everybody happy and we have done many population sets in the past and this was an opportunity for us to try something we're not saying we're doing this moving forward with everything and sometimes you have no choice but we were presented with a unique opportunity where we didn't have to we really want to see what you guys think you know let's see it's true yeah that's something we, we deal with patrick we own it you know Strong words saying should have been, because that implies that we made the wrong move. Um, as I said, we've been trying something different, right? Uh, always love hunting bears. Just need my legendary. Um, bear great AR great GGT. Thanks, Master Hawk. Appreciate you, sir. Okay, so everybody loves it. Nobody's replying. Awesome. Awesome. Real-time feedback for you. <laughs> All right. Well, as I said, something we are trying, and uh, we'll see. So if, if it's real popular, maybe on the next round, when we are faced with this, we try it again. Uh, it just depends. We'll see. We'll see. All right. What do we got going here? Okay. So you guys, I got to be careful because my wind is terrible here. Where do you go? 
Let's see if there's anything else in there. A lot of five mediums. Man. We don't have a lot of drink time left here, neither. I don't want to move too close, because my wind is terrible for that side of the lake. Puppers needs more coffee. Totally does empty. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> like the fact there was no reset. Would have been better for a reset. Join not being a reset myself. Teach their own. Yes, I'll absolutely teach their own. Nobody's judging if you say you liked it and someone says they, do they don't. It's a, it is a personal taste. And it, a lot of it comes down to play style, too. Personally, not a fan of night hunting. So, really didn't. Uh, so, not really did the bears drink. So, I have. Prefer to pop reset, but totally understand what you're doing. Appreciate the understanding, Gil Rob. Thank you. You can, you can, but that's uh, it's a full reset, right? I know I don't mess with the files. Maybe you can individually. It's not something I like to do. Lots on PC, Dano, absolutely. Big bug with Puma sometimes when he's a flying, just glitching, it appears like jump over, make it hard to hit and bite him. Oh, you're saying like his gait when he's running gets a little bit messed up, but you're all taken off now. So we're out of our drink time. Okay, so I know I got a mythical down here. That there he goes. There he goes right there. Watch him stroll. Good time to see what you've got at your zones. I'm a patient hunter. I like to learn my zones, and I actually plan on spending some time here on Parquet. After some chit chats with some of my community friends, I realize I need to get my own streams going again. Apologies for not, but you know, for communities, your, your responsibility, you put your time into it. Should I shoot it? Should I shoot it? I kind of want to leave it. Kind of, sort of. But, you know, if you're going to stop for me, for science, 300 meters, what sort of pen? One shot in the lungs, through the meat. Wow, it's going to take it. Very nice. Very nice indeed. This weapon just keeps on giving. Man, we got uh, just something for the money over there, honey. Let's see. Let's see. Let's just drop that right in the meat as well and see what that does. Like, what I'm saying in the meat, that is like notoriously hard spot. Uh, it <laughs> Over the years, to drop these guys, man. We've, we've had problems. Um. You know, like all of us as players have had problems with these. Just a straight on shot. What are you going to do over there, man? And she's like, I'm mad. I'm mad because I can't get to him. Like, okay. Should I meet you part way? <laughs> Which way is going to be quicker to go retrieve that? Probably running this way. Let's go see if we can catch up with our uh, our new fan, it seems. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. I appreciate you, brother. As a casual player, not having a pop reset is best for trying to eventually get a great one. A reset would really hurt a casual player that doesn't grind. It's true. It's true. We've seen. There's no secret with this, um, and we we knew the risks. With this, we've we've seen our uh, our harder core grinders really taking advantage of the fact they can leave some animals behind. But yet, some of them do seem to move without being taken down, which is interesting. But um, yeah, yeah, well, it's pretty cool. So, I I think what I'm hearing is. Nobody's mad about it. Thank you. Thank you. I haven't seen anybody get angry about it. I think everyone understood our stats that we took on it. Uh, in wanting to try this. And, you know, we realized it wouldn't be game-breaking. But we also went on the pretense that, you know, if, if enough folks were not happy, that we could have offered a, a, a population reset on them on our next update. Right? So... I, I think by that point, maybe it would be too late. That's my own personal gut feeling. Let's see. Uh, maybe more species on Rancho for hunt. As you see, like the dead map. Oh, I don't know. I see it depends. It's it's a... Hmm. That's a tough one. That's a tough one because I see some people and it's one of their favorite maps. And I see some... It's hard. It's hard with feedback because... Especially when it comes down to something like that. Okay. Uh, you know, we have listening tools that help us to see what the community is saying. We do surveys. Uh, we ask you guys in real time a lot of questions. And we, we formulate, you know, and put together what we think the general consensus is. Um, 
I personally really enjoy Rancho. I do, but I go there specifically for the environment and Whitetails. I'm a Whitetail fan. It's what I enjoy the most over there. Uh, but that's just me. That's not taken away from anyone else. I know that uh, th those opinions all tend to, you know, greatly vary. Uh, there is a chance that we could add more animals there. We talk about backfill option or options often. Uh, you know, we like to get your feedback on that too. Uh, so yeah, very good, very good possibility. You know, there are some species we could fill in down there too. Oh wow, David, you're doing work. I'm, with biotech, they can request as much as they want. There's certain ways that things are always done in, in uh, game development, and we have our ways set. We have to line up our beats before showing or talking in depth about a, a new DLC. The reason for this is, you know, some people get fed up waiting, and they legitimately get mad if you start talking about it too soon. Uh, there's also other reasons that, you know, we don't want to talk about it and not be able to show anything. So things need to be able to pass a certain level of, uh, well, there's there's checks that we need to adhere to. And, um, you know, the, the devs need to take passes over things and show things. Um, when we show things, they need to be in a state that we can. For instance, you know, uh, because sometimes it worries people if we show things. And it's not like, I'm going to use the angler last week. We went on the angler. Well, I can tell you that 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 map is, is freaking wild it's actually really, really really cool uh but they hadn't done their final passes their final gloss passes on uh, a fair portion of the map so we only showed a portion of it we tried something different that that's a risk right you know because you don't upset people when it's something new that's coming out so you're you know from a developer standpoint you're you're better waiting and showing these things as as you're ready to do so um yes i'm so aware of how annoying these pumas and mountain lions are with their constant calls, it is something we are aware of. It is something we are aware of. And by the way, I am gonna pick a bow, and I'm pretty open with this stuff and haven't gotten in trouble with it yet. Do you know, since the patch, up until the end of last week, we had one ticket submitted. So everything is working perfectly in our game. Yes! Unless we come across a glitched one. The timing of it all. Ah, uh, yes. Water waves, lots of fun. Are you really getting angry? Oh, you're fleeing. Anybody angry? One of you was angry earlier and I got nothing to do with it. That <laughs> first shot, I know. I know. They happen. They happen. Oh, and there's another one over here that's going to make all kinds of noise. Any of you running to me? Oh, oh, oh. Now I'm just trying to move some hunting pressure so I can go hit my favorite spot for these bad boys. So I'm just going to drop them on the ground here real quick. I don't want to go track them, okay? Just trying to drop some pressure, get a little free money. Would never do this IRL. Uh, but there's a lot of things that are done in this game that we would never do IRL. And we have to remember it is a game. I don't like to have fun. Look at all that lung butter, man. If only I had a piece of toast. Let's go. What about adding population reset? The players can activate per map. I... Mm. So that's not something we have the ability to do. That would take a lot of work to implement. Uh, and uh, I mean, maybe that's a feature the community wants, and, but it would take a lot to work that out. Uh, I'm not sure I would be so happy to try to do that. I don't want to track them. That's right. Kip, I'm not sure about that. I'll have you know, brother, I actually started poking around to see if I could find something. Um, I, I, you know, the thing is, I, I get told the same same sort of thing, and, and, that, and that can happen on any platform. No slag on the PS5. It's, it's, it's a beast of a console. As far as consoles go, it absolutely is. It could be something conflicting. 
And the process you have to go through to try and sort through that, it's certainly a lot easier on PC because you can go directly to the files. Although I think you can do some of that on uh, on PlayStation. I'd, I'd really recommend getting in touch with support and then having them work things out. And let me tell you guys a little bit about support because I saw a conversation the other day. It's actually one of our, our partners had mentioned something about scoring on an animal. And uh, support had said, you know, this was as intended. Support, they are not experts on the game itself as far as what an animal scores what rifle to use for this and that what they are experts on is the tech side of things they are experts at troubleshooting so it's important that we get more than one ticket <clears throat> in like a, a you know a big period of time <clears throat> sorry i'm not berating you <laughs> uh, but it's important if you have any issues that you reach out to them kip i can't remember if you said you did brother I mean, if you did, if you said you did, but that is definitely something uh, that is able to be resolved. Sometimes it's, you know, when you're dealing with games, it can be a real, a real puzzle. Um, okay, I have that uh, mythical I need to go and pick up and let's see. Wow. Wow. I know, pretty impressive. Right back at you, kitty cat. At least it's an interesting sound. On a ringer in this game. Oh, missed. Nope. Sorry. Lots of things in game you don't iron. Exactly. Totally, man. Totally. Yeah, like I would never use a 22 to go duck hunting. Uh, although I've never been duck hunting. <laughs> I learned that right away from the community way back when. Yeah. Yeah. So I know. <laughs> I know. Ooh, lung butter. But uh, yeah. Yeah. The game actually, honestly, has made me a better hunter. You know, it's true. And it's kind of rude to me because when I see animals, my buddies that don't play the game just think I'm weird by saying things like, that's a solid, that's a solid three moose. And I'm like, what? It's, we're looking at one moose, man. There's a, a bull right there. No, it's a three. It's not quite a four. What are you talking about? Just look at the pull. And they're like, uh, you know, then I have to explain my digital world. <laughs> it can be quite interesting at times. What am I doing? I keep going here for trash. I can't help it. I'm ruined. Can we ever see a cross-platform update like the Angler? So, you know, my standard answer to that has always been, we just won't see it. And the main reason behind that is we would have to we would have to rewrite the code in our game. But there's a number of things that we would have to do that for. And, you know, these things are always discussed. Is it a possibility? It is a possibility. But the amount of work it would take, it would probably mean um, an a interruption in, in content, which is a very hard one for us to do because, you know, video games it's it's a business right um so we'd have to figure that out i it's it's unlikely only because the game was not built with multiplayer in mind when the game was released it was single player but the community just so passionately asked look can we get multiplayer in so they made it happen but it's really caused some conflicting issues you know i guess it depends on the longevity of our game I'm not saying this to give you guys hope, okay? And I'm not saying it to dash any hope. I'm saying this because it's something we would genuinely like. Because the community asks so much, we would we would love to be able to do something like that. So I don't want to just outright say no and dash people's hopes. But I also don't want it being where, you know, every update, well, Jaxi said there's a chance. That would go poorly for me. <laughs> right? I think you know where I'm going with that. That would go very poorly for me and my employment at this beloved company. That's just gorgeous. I would love to go hunting for these just once. Just once. I'm going to get my boy Tree Kiwi. He does this stuff now. If you guys don't know, is what he does now is he goes out and he's still a partner creator with us. Um, but he has like the IRL hunting and he does guides and he... Um, He'd be my he'd be my Huckleberry if I wanted to go and do this. He's been trying to get me out for a good hunt for a while. And uh, as I'm heading over to Sweden in the second week of April, uh, I'll be hooking up with him at some point. So, yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that. For those of you that know, you know what's coming. 
Oh, man. I would see squirrels working like rabbits. Squirrels? It's interesting. I, I used to be like, no, I don't want squirrels. But um, I've come around. You guys, you, you've kind of talked me into things. I think squirrel, adding really small game like that would give us more small game option. Uh, and it would, it would be pretty cool, I, I think, on a lot of the maps having these little buggers. But, you know, my experience with squirrels while hunting and uh, some of you are going to smile knowingly and nod, they are Mother Nature's alarm. Okay. They give me away in the bush time and time again. Oh, I got to be careful here. This is the lodge I had a buffalo chase me into. Legit, it made it in the door. I uh, I died right there. Yeah, 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 it, it, it wasn't pretty. Um, yeah, so it could be interesting. See what they see what they're like. Let's maybe we'll leave we'll leave that that wide open for interpretation. We'll see what we'll see what happens if squirrels ever make it to this game. I'd love to see if you know there's a lot of support for it. Surprisingly, it's not one of those things that you hear people say it every single day they want. But uh, when it comes up, man, the amount of people that get behind it, it's it's exciting to see that kind of excitement for something I was never really into, man. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yes, there is currently an issue with the scoring on the Bobcats. We are aware it has to do with uh, the change that happened with the um, you know with the recategorizing stuff. Robo, what's up, brother? I'm not a small game guy myself, man. I'm just not. I, I, I've shot a couple squirrels in my time, you know? <laughs> but uh, I, I won't eat them. If I won't eat it, I won't shoot it. That's my rule of thumb. Ptarmigan in, in Yukon. That could be interesting. I've certainly dotted up nicely, too. I'd have to look into it. I, I don't know for certain. I don't... I don't know if we... Had, because, so, like, the U Yukon is styled off of eastern Alaska, essentially. Um, I'm going to go rogue and say that that's northern British Columbia, okay? That's, like, you're up in, like, almost Pink Mountain area for that type of terrain. And it looks just like that. So, very similar species up there. Um, I don't know that we have them. I haven't been up there myself. I'm ashamed to admit. Did we get rid of any of the pressure along here? We got rid of some. We got rid of some. This gets real busy here. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Hello. Oh, hello. 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 Hello, everybody. I'm just going to lay down. Y'all just talk amongst yourselves for a second. So, uh, I need early, 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 sorry. I need ear dubs on Perky. I kept reading early, Liam. Can we get horses like in Red Dead? That'd be huge. That'd be a huge task. Look what the dog took. The dogs take a lot because we, you know, motion. The, you know that which is really cool actually if you ever saw how they motion captured the dog um go check it out on our channel you, you have to go back a little ways but they actually show them the making of it'd be something very similar for the horses we're we getting black bear reset at kill the old zones but they're coming back as old zones oh i haven't heard that blake uh, if you've killed the zones out when so when you Okay, so all the animals in game are pre-programmed with their their times where they show up in their home ranges at what times. So when you kill that animal and you harvest it, very important, if you don't harvest the animal, well, I'm not going to give you guys a detail on that, but you need to pick up your kills. Um, if you don't pick it up, it's going to have the same time attached to it because uh, my understanding anyways, um, maybe it won't, maybe it won't. Let me, uh, let me check on that. But by killing it, it respawns and it's got the new data, the only data it can receive, and they should be showing up. So did you just have more coming to those zones? I have many questions. Uh, it'd be a good idea to contact support if that persists on you. Um, but I haven't heard that yet. Let's see what these guys are. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna sneeze. Please don't do it. Uh, horseback ready. Cool. How big is the team behind Call of the Wild? It's not something we've ever divulged. Um, part of that just comes down to, uh, you know, industry secrets that not everybody wants out there about their company and such. We're, we're not a huge team. We, we are certainly not a huge team. Um, we're, we're nowhere near as big as like a triple A studio. We're a double A studio. Okay. So, um, felt a little energized with that comment. It's all I had for double A comments. I, just, you know, it just is what it is. Uh, but uh, it's... Do we have anything good in here? Nice seven we can take out. Six is looking like it just wants to get shot the way it's standing. 
I don't know, these trees, man. Let's just drop one in between here through all these trees. What can go wrong? I have not hit it through the trees. That could go wrong. Ah. We have experienced a tree malfunction. And that's because our scope is higher at those close ranges. Okay, I'm actually kind of impressed that they took that level of detail. Okay. That's on me. <laughs> Emerald Close is literally the ultimate deer hunting map. It really is, Liam. 100%, man. 100%. Uh, Biotech, that's a great suggestion. You should rotate up drink and need zone each patch. That way there keeps being a sense of exploration and discovery. I love that. I love that option. I've always been a really big supporter of, you know, we have... We have two hunting games. We have Classic and we have the Hunter Call of the Wild. Now, in Classic, your animals are not persistent. Every time you start a new map, it's brand new spawns. There's advantages and disadvantages to that. Here in the Hunter Call of the Wild, everything is persistent, meaning that your animals stay to a certain degree. So, with that, if you could swap it up, keep us on our toes... Yeah, I just don't know how it would be received by, you know, anybody who's on a grind, for instance. But if you knew, if we had, like, seasons, maybe, and I don't mean seasons in game, but, like, season one, season two, and each season there's a little change, just to swap things up. That could be an interesting approach. That's actually a really good idea. I kind of like that. You could really have some fun with that and be very creative, offer unique things for... Season four, all of a sudden, eight for season five. Oh, season five didn't go over so well. Change it up. Season six. I like brain. I like brainstorming. Will all animals have a great one? I don't think that we'll ever see all animals getting a great one. You know, as you've seen, a lot of our focus on great ones have been uh, popular animals. Uh, you know, um, animals that uh, that people are are trying to stick in their trophy lodge already. Um, but, you know, we don't want to leave anything out. Like, I really think we need a Great One Goose, for example. <clears throat> Not the most popular waterfowl, but uh, definitely the most holes out there. I'm telling you right now, man, if you ever come across those IRL, <laughs> if they can't peck you, they'll poop on you. Like, they're just absolutely... I have been chased by those things as a kid, as an adult. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I'm not scarred, you are. I would love a rotation because the mountain lions could drink during the morning or one other day. Yeah, it's there's definitely that's a good idea, isn't it, Johnny? I don't think I've I've ever seen anyone suggest that. I'd love to see that make its way into Discord, <clears throat> into the suggestions, so we could uh, direct our devs directly to it. Nice, he can't. Yeah, I like that. Three hundred AR is a nail gun. Well done. <laughs> uh, but well, we get non-typicals that aren't great ones. <sighs> Man, you guys are getting me with some doozies today. That's okay. I I, I like these these uh, these AMAs. Honestly, I do. And uh, even though some of them are really hard to answer for many reasons, and some that you know I can't disclose. But non-typicals, let's face it, that that's been a hot topic for years. As a hunter, IRL, we don't have diamonds. We don't have great ones we have impressive racks of course but man when you see a drop time just one freaking drop time oh my god there's a five point mule deer you lose your mind so yeah i would love to see that come to the game i have been a big voice at work I, i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna mince meat about it man i, I am a huge voice uh with our team to bring non-typicals to it and it would be a massive addition to the game. Uh, I, like Great Ones were. Great Ones were worked on for quite some time before the very first Great One ever showed up. So yeah, that would be a huge undertaking, but I am fully in the non-typical camp. I know, I see it all. Please add non-tips, I know. Is there a new Great One with the next map? I can neither confirm nor deny. People are saying Grizz and Brown Bears change drink times too. Is this true? Yes, it is true. I'm looking for more information on it because I wasn't aware that the Grizz were changing as well. 
Uh, but, you know, things, things I, I can tell you, get a little crazy as you move closer to updates. And it's, it's very possible uh, that we just had a, a typo in, in our translation um, between our devs reporting all the changes to us and us reporting. So I, I'm investigating. But, yes, they currently are. That's the deal. It's all, all the bears, uh, which I'm kind of happy about, to be honest. I am. How about you? You guys like that? Is that something that uh, we're on board with? Oh, are you going behind that tree? I'm going to take a chance, take a chance, take a chance. Oh, hey, how are you doing? Are you in front or behind the tree, man? Hi. <laughs> we'll give it two just to put it down a little quicker. Let's see what else is in there. That's it, that's it, that's it. And nobody's mad. Didn't upset anybody. They don't want what we're selling, baby. They ain't buying it. This 300, man. I'm not denying or confirming nothing. That's my way of going. I don't know. <laughs> uh, if it tents, made fellow well grind up a bubble leaf zone and turn it to a hunting zone. What, what do you mean, John? Elaborate for me, my friend. We had tents long before grinding came out. Grinding became a thing due to herd managing. Um, and herd managing became a thing due to the need of me wanting to get a lot of great ones. <laughs> to get a great one. Not a lot. Not a lot. The the, the excessive need for mass great ones. Uh, well, that's, yeah, that's a whole other story. <laughs> Pretty neat to watch. If you like grinding, you want to see it happen. It's pretty cool to watch. If you're not into grinding, I mean, it, yeah, it's, I know, it's shooting gallery stuff. But it's still pretty cool. All right, let's take a look. These have always been one of my favorites, man. I just uh, love the waters so much. I really, really do. I, don't get me wrong. I, I love the Cape Buffaloes, too. They've killed me more than any other. But actually, that's not true. I think bison have only because back then I used to crawl into the middle of them with a bow or a crossbow. Just for the fun of it. They did Wolverine, yes, yes. There's no Wolverine way back. Would it be the same Wolverine by chance? If it is, what's up, brother? Good to see you, man. If not, welcome, dude. Uh, yeah, they, they did. They did all get changed. Uh, we, uh, as I said, I'm trying to get more information on it right now. I think next map will be Thailand or India. That's interesting, Errol. Interesting. People are saying, where are we? Meanwhile, my pet geese come up to me, jump on my lap to bite my face. Oh, you can see that is so cool, man. Hey, anything domesticated is pretty dang cool, right? Like, I'd like a bobcat. I'm just saying. From 2019 for... Oh, uh, yeah. Super rares are hard. Super rares are very, very hard, man. I'm, I'm with you. That's the case, and the way they wanted it to be, then it should have been very reset. For what, Roger? What are we saying, if that's the case? With the... Yeah, so I don't have any information on, on the other bears at, at this point in time, just that that is the, the current state of it right now. So, uh, But I've explained all that. There's no need going back through it. My top three would be... Wait, what are we top three and four? What, I, I missed all that conversation. <laughs> I really did. Do something for deer hunters, please. Like what, Davis? That's a big focus in our game. Quite a bit has been done. I, what, what specifically are you looking for, my friend? Can you please get the Labrador to flush birds, please. He's a bloodhound. So the bloodhounds um, in the game do not do that. I think it leaves the door open for more dogs. I'm just saying. Go look at Classic. I'm just saying. So what's going to be new? You just woke up the whole day in front of you, my friend. Welcome. Good morning. <laughs> it's morning here, too. Kind of wild. I'm actually having a really hard time with the time zones right now. It's 10.53. I'm not complaining. It's a better time for me to stream. Normally, I start my streams at 9. and Half the time, I'm still drinking a coffee. It's it's tough. But here at 10, 10 to 11, that's pretty good. But, I, you know, I got a couple folks from work that uh, like to talk after the streams, and that's much later for them. I know um, EU does their... I'm sure we have some folks at EU here right now. Your daylight savings this weekend, right? Please tell me that's the case. You're in the UK, it's 5.54. Yeah, yeah. So we're we're um we're seven hours apart right now. 
normally we're eight hours apart. My whole family's in Ireland, spread throughout the UK. So that's 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 what I base all my time zone knowledge off of. Everything I I had to become a time zone expert, man. Like seriously, if there was a degree for knowing time zones, I'd have a master's from doing all this. <laughs> all right, are we running out of space? We gotta get. Uh, we'll tuck down in here. I don't know. We don't have a whole lot of time left in the stream, man. Crazy. I think it would be a Himalayan Pakistan. Tajik stand map before we got a southeast base. Interesting, Connor. Interesting. What did Ashley say? Yeah, it's hard to keep up on chat today. It's nice to be able to teleport to 12 locations throughout the map, but it does make it easy to rail on certain zones, but I'm not a grinder. Yeah, John, you know, there's there's a tough one there. You know, we don't want too many tents to make it entirely too easy. But we want enough that the convenience is there, you know, for the average hunter. We also want it to be a good experience for our grinders as well it's it's a it's a tough one finding that that good balance between it all uh, but we are certainly trying comments like that help to actually the question was what's your top three animals to hunt moose white tail <clears throat> oh see the first two come right off the top of my head I would say my next favorite. Oh, wow. That's really tough because I often fall back to one of the reasons whitetails there is I just, I love, I love deer hunting IRL and mule is my go-to. The only reason I won't say mule is one of my top three is really, I'm either here or SRP, I, you know, and uh, I don't hunt them as often anymore. Otherwise they would be in my top three. I'm a big fan of the buffalo species in this game because I, I, I like how hard they are. Um, Off-angled shots often don't have the results that you're looking for and it causes you to, you know, to really take after it. I'd love a great one in a buffalo, I'm just saying. Elk is arguably right there for me. Tough one. What a good question, man. What a good question. What's the issue with the Bobcats? Killed a mythical and scold gold as, gold as usual. Most often, uh, majority, vast majority of the time, a uh, mythical Bobcat, a mythical Red Deer, a mythical anything that reaches legendary um, will score gold. There is a chance with every species, there is a chance that they can score diamond one level down. Contrary to what some people in the community will tell you, uh, yes, there is a chance. It's the way the scoring works. Uh, but yeah, the, the Bobcats do have an issue since release. Some of them are scoring wonky. We've seen some gold females. We've uh, Yeah, so it, there's, there's, there's an adjustment needs made there. And that's because we made uh, an adjustment to many species by reclassing them. And in that, uh, it's, you know, there's a lot of moving parts and it, it didn't all work out as a hundred percent so we will get that addressed got a level four ibex last week they made diamond nice nice no you can't hunt gorillas no why didn't the black bear drink time change my ps4 you have to hunt the bears at night once you've killed and harvested them, they will show up at the day drink time. Uh, it's a test that we're doing because of the backlash we get for doing resets because it was a, uh, you know, a very small, I don't want to say one off that gives the wrong impression, but, um, you know, it wasn't a full reset. It, it was literally a small amount of animals on the map. So we, uh, we took a test run to see what the community would think. It does mean you need to go through those old zones and shoot them out to get them to reappear at different times. Killed my deer in a few places, they won't respond now how to fix this. So animals will not always come back to the same location. Contrary to what people are gonna tell you, that's old. That hasn't happened for almost two years now. Um, need zones are a suggestion of where you might see them at what time. Animals actually have quite a bit more to their AI now and they may not even ever come back to that need zone. They might end up merging in with a different herd. They might end up at a different need zone that you then find a new need zone. There's lots of variables to it. Typically when you're not finding them, it's because they're somewhere else. 
Um, the exception to the rule with that is mods. Mods are notorious for screwing up your game. Uh, it was kind of funny when the guns came out and people were like, my gun won't reload, my gun won't reload. That was because of mods. Um, I can, we can identify things right away. <laughs> and we just can't support mods because it, they, every single mod messes up the game, regardless of what modders want to tell you. So you could see uh, it happen where animals stop respawning on a map. It's because of mods. Otherwise, they've respawned. They're in a different area. So it's uh, something to consider if, you are a user that uses mods anybody out there and uh, it's how you want to play by all means play how you want to play but you will see many issues when mods are in play uh and of course if you are using mods please don't share your harvests in online forums and groups because people take offense to it all that aside play how you want to play nothing great over here Should we just take the easiest shot and move along? Got a couple fours that say, hey, want to make a little honey? A little money, honey? A little honey? I'd love a little honey. God, these follow-up shots are just so stupid with this thing, man. I mean, let's be real. Recoil what? <laughs> it's insane. I've done nothing, Zara. Please don't get me in trouble. Gotta stop repeating all this stuff. Or I'm just gonna ball right up. <laughs> ma'am. Ma'am. I'm gonna need you to lay down. You ain't gonna make it. I'll run to you. Oh, well, we almost had one of those chariots of fire moments. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 They're like, what the hell's chariots of fire? I'm old. Yeah, yeah, I was young when that came out. Glad to hear it, Carbon. It's pretty fantastic, man. It really, really is. Anything about more scopes and different reticles? If yes, been a big ask of mine. Been a big ask. You know, um, I know over time. Bear with me. So scopes have been a thing that we would love to do a scope pack, and it's long been a tough one for us because, let's face it, we're um, we're limited by render. But having different magnifications, I think everybody would agree, and our team included, would would definitely, um, definitely be something that us as players would like to see. Having uh, the ability to change reticles, um, you know, different looking scopes, just, just the thickness on a scope, because let's face it, okay? This is why I use the Hyperion. You see the little outline. I wish I could get my mouse to show on here. You see how much of a peripheral I have and I can see things. That's why I hate the Argus. That's the only reason. Well, I don't like the death wobble on the Argus. But, um, so it would be nice to have more variety. We really only have two that people use and 80% uh, of the community use the Hyperion. So yeah, I would love to see it. Really want you guys to make some noise about scopes in the Discord. Really, 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 really. Uh, you don't need to keep making noise about the same map suggestions. Just give it lots of upvotes. You know, we know what people want. But those scopes, man, we need to focus. Scopes, shooting sticks. I want trail cams. I want beards. Dang it. Beards. More than just Remy Warren. No offense, Remy. It's respectable, my dude. Ha ha. We'll go ahead and we'll pick that up. I got two more to grab. I'll go grab those, but I am over time and I do need to jump into a call here in about five minutes. Thank you all so much for coming and joining me. This turned out to be a lot of fun. I really like the streams where we can actually talk. So get your questions ready for next week. We're back then. We'll have another chit chat. We'll see what sort of trouble we can get into. If you haven't done so, make sure if you're on YouTube, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Of course, if you're on Twitch, hit the follow button. Do it with two heads if you gotta. Come and join us, my friends, in the Discord. It is a fantastic hub to bring everybody together. It is an internet space. Remember, um, respect your fellow players. Listen to your mods. They're there to help, not hinder. And of course, if you want to come and hang out across all the socials, well, we got lots of posts going out regularly, keeping you up to date and giving you sometimes first and inside looks at things. So make sure to do all the stuff, do all the things. Thank you, my friends. Much love to each and every one of you. I'll catch you soon. Peace.
top three maps I hunt on. Mm, I always go back to Layton. I love SRP, and I'm kind of hooked on Emerald Coast right now. I still like to go back to Revan Tui, though. And I actually quite enjoy New England Mountains. It's a challenging hunt. If you're looking for a challenge, go check it out. Yes, sir, Cave Flow. One more time. Do it with two hands if you gotta. If you know, you know. If not.